Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Max Shoots Film. Okay, today we're talking about the Nikon N90S. This thing is a beast. <laughs> In my opinion, it is the most underrated film SLR on earth. Yeah, I know that's a bold claim, but I'm going to back it up. So here's the deal. It's been a crazy day of travel. So <laughs> I'm actually in Austin, Texas right now, but the shoot we're going to watch is in Scottsdale, Arizona. For the past few weeks, I've been traveling nonstop. So I've been, okay, my home base, Charlotte, to Scottsdale, back to Charlotte, to Atlanta, Georgia, from Atlanta straight to Austin, and then I'm here for a few days, then I go back to Charlotte, and then I'm out to San Francisco, then back to Scottsdale, then back to Charlotte. It's just a crazy time, guys. I'm not complaining though, I, I love my life and I'm very fortunate to get to do everything that I do. But we're not here to talk about my life. We're here to talk about this guy. I just wanted to definitely clear up where you're like, why are you in a different place than the shoot took place? So here's the deal. Let's, let's check out what type of images this camera can produce with its amazing metering. Matrix metering, which is a rock star on this camera. But what I really love is its spot metering. It's, it's just so good. Also, I love the 8,000th of a second shutter speed because hashtag Boca Bro, I can shoot wide open in sun, direct sunlight with Portrait 800 and a 85 1.8 lens. The lens that I use in the shoot that you're about to see, I was using the 50 millimeter F 1.4D Nikon lens. Um, so let's do this. Let's go to Scottsdale. Let's check out the shoot. Let's come back and review this bad boy. All right, I'll see you back in a minute. All right, guys, so what did you think? I think this camera produces some really stellar images when paired with decent glass. Now, <laughs> the reason I say this is probably the most undervalued, underrated SLR on earth is the value you receive from a robust feature set for the price you pay 
is amazing. So this camera body cost me $40. I mean, you can get them on average $30 to $60, depending on you know, what eBay auction you happen to uh, run across. And I mean, if you think about it, 8,000th of a second shutter speed. It has matrix metering, which is absolutely amazing. It has spot metering, absolutely amazing. And that's primarily what I use is spot metering. You know, if you look at my feed, you'll see a lot of images where I place the subject in very bright light surrounded by shadow. And I focus and I set my exposure on that bright, stark light on the subject so the shadows just fall off and it almost appears like I have a spotlight on the subject. And I really love that. So I, I, I always look for cameras that have spot metering, something I really love. Um, I can't say enough good things about this camera. I mean, it's auto focusing, auto advancing, auto rewinding. It has continuous uh, shutter, continuous low, continuous high. I can dial in my EVs over and under. You can set your ISO up to 6400. It has all the modes that you would want, program, aperture, shutter, and of course you can shoot manual. From a lens perspective, I mean, you can use G glass, but you do have to stop down to the lowest aperture, uh, smallest aperture. All the Nikon D glass is amazing on it. You can use all the metering modes with Nikon D glass. You can use um, matrix spot and center weighted. You can even use Nikon AIS glass on here and manually focus it. Now, when you're using the AIS glass, you're not going to be able to matrix meter, but you can still absolutely use spot meter and center weighted metering, which is really great. I think the flash sync speed is around 250th of a second. I never really use that. Uh, it's got auto exposure lock on the back in a really convenient place where your thumb can grab it. And it all has up front, where is it at? Yep, auto focus lock down here in a really convenient place. I mean, holding it is like a brick, but the controls are all in a good spot if they were to put camera controls on a brick. Um, I, I don't want to ramble too much about it. It is a $40 camera, but I just want to say that there are some workhorse, powerful, amazing cameras out there that are dirt cheap. Everyone's looking for these crazy expensive cameras and there's so much value to be had in cameras just like this. I would say definitely jump on this. I mean, at some point, everyone's gonna catch on to this camera being so cheap and providing so much value. I hope you guys enjoyed the images uh, and this brief overview of the camera. We could go into more detail, but there's not really any reason to. It has all the controls that you need what I like to always stress when buying a camera is like determine what the bookends of possibilities are. Make sure they're as far apart as possible. Sure, you may only use this many features within your camera, but you may grow to the point where you need more features and, and functionality. Buy that camera that's out here and grow into your camera. And if you're buying this camera, the bookends are way out here, but the price is like that much, right? It's $40 for a camera with all the possibilities. It's a, it's a true workhorse. This camera, when it was out, it was selling for over $1,000 for years. I mean, $1,000. And like people were buying the crap out of this camera, rightfully so. I mean, it was a prosumer camera, one step down from the F100. All right. so. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the shoot. That was a really fun shoot with Danielle in Scottsdale. Beautiful location. I love shooting at the Suaro Hotel in Scott in Old Town Scottsdale. Be beautiful location. If you ever go to Scottsdale, definitely stay there. Really, really great value. Um, check me out on Instagram. Mac Shoots Film is where all my portrait work is. It's probably not safe for work, so be advised if you open that at work. Hey, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like this content, Give me a subscribe down below, and uh, I try to put out content as regularly as possible, not weekly. Life's too crazy. I travel way too much. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next episode.